hand soldering a 0.5 millimeter pitch QFN component with SmartBoard EZ. As you know, QFN components have most of the pad surface on the bottom and a little bit on the side. Hand soldering this without a SmartBoard EZ is probably impossible. The SmartBoard EZ for QFN has a crevice that the whole component drops onto. This lines up the pads on the component with our SmartBoard EZ grooves. The board also has a dot to designate where pad 1 should go. The first step after placing the component down is to just tape it down. After taping down the component, you add some solder flux. And then you put the tip of your iron in each groove and push forward until you touch the side of the chip. The iron is set at 800 degrees Fahrenheit. The tip must, must be smaller than the pitch of the component. The solder is already in each groove. All you're doing is melting it and pushing it forward until it touches the pad. You cannot create a short. After doing side one, remove the tape and do the same to side two. As easy as that, we have hand soldered two sides of the component. Now, after this, of course, you would hand solder the other two sides. But what we're going to do to finish this off is to pretend that there's a heat sink on the middle that needs to be taken care of. And what we've done is we've put a pass through via here that allows you, in cases where there is a heat sink in the middle of the component, to just add a little bit of external solder. And there you go. So this is hand soldering a 0.5 millimeter QFN component using SmartBoard Easy.